Right. So, the pair of us have bought 13 Steam keys, but we don't know what they are. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. We have 10 mystery madness keys and then three platinum keys. The gist being that the platinum keys should be something a little bit special. Should be being the key word. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to... Ha- I'm My hopes are middling. Mine are low. <laughs> the, 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 it's a real crapshoot. We've but, done uh, this in the past and come out with squat. <laughs> yeah. But it's Friday night and I thought, I'll have a cheeky little gamble. Because at least you get something for it. It's not very much. It was how much did we pay? Twenty twenty dollars, uh, approximately. Yeah, like eighteen bucks or something. It wasn't yeah. much. Eighteen bucks, thirteen keys. So take that as you take that as a measure of the quality we could be expected to get here. All right. So we are going to do this very similar to uh, uh, pull tabs. Have you played pull tabs in a bar? I don't think I have. Oh. Please explain to me the pull tabs. So, you know the old uh, slot machines? It's like that, but with paper. And oh. it's it's literally a sheet that's like three inches long by two inches wide. And they've got like five pulls on them. And you just pull it open. And you if you get pairs behind it, you can win money. Got it. And they're like a dollar a sheet or something like that. So, we're just uh, going to go through okay. and Tom's going to open one. And then I'll open one. Yeah. And, and this will be fun because... It's, uh, I didn't want to just click them all myself. I was like, oh, you know what? It'd be cool if Eric bought these two. We can, <laughs> we can compare the Thanks shit together. Thanks for spending my money. Yeah. <laughs> You've done it to me enough times, so I thought <laughs> I should send you one back. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. And with uh, that, we're going to, I say we save the Platinum Mystery Bundles for last, because those are oh, supposedly yeah. the good ones. Yeah. The, how, how much should uh, we pay yeah. for that? 15 bucks uh, for three games? No, 13. Uh, yeah. Mine is like 16 Canadian, so th- yeah, about 13 US. And aren't each of those games, games supposed to be like 30 bucks? They say quote unquote triple A slash double A. I don't know what that really means what is these double days. A? Double A is like, um, like just cause. Ah, you, you know, like you. <laughs> you can go squat on some bra. It is. It is not. Just cause me, is wait. like quadruple A. Okay, a plague tale. That's considered double A. Because it's not made by a big manufacturer or a big publisher. Correct. Got it. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. Just cause was just a little little jab. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little cheeky jab. So since it's called <laughs> Mystery Madness, is that uh yeah. are they mystery games? Like all point and click? They are hidden object games. Oh, perfect. Like the uh yeah. the Ravenhurst games. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah, we're gonna I'm hoping for Mist <laughs> and uh Riven. Riven or whatever it was called. <laughs> oh my god. And Broken Sword. I bet you Broken Sword's in here. Ooh. Let's let's see if let's I guess want, one of these ten. I want five copies of uh I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> For Dan? For Dan. Well, I tell you what, out of these, let, if you can think of 10, if you, if you can picture what might be underneath all of these, what what one would be good, would satisfy you? Like, yep, that was worth it. Like one indie game that you wouldn't mind dabbling in. Something like, I don't know, uh, I'm trying to think like. If I saw, uh, if I saw Remnant from the Ashes come through. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen that's only thirty dollars <laughs> yeah i mean it it could happen in the platinum i suppose yeah see uh um, i reckon you might get observer Ooh, like these are the kinds of games i think we need to set ourselves to spec ops the line wreck fest yeah um Lord knows i don't need to play any more wreck fest postal mm, flat out stuff like that yeah, I'd be okay with that. City Skyline. Whatever, like, you know, Sims. and you know, we, have, we have to remember that it could be any genre. Mm. We could end up with some educational games, Eric. <laughs> I was just about to say, I hope I, I, hope I get a <laughs> game where I can learn something. 
<laughs> yeah, you could do with that, I think, yeah. <laughs> All right, go first. All right. Mystery Madness Bundle Tier 1. Wings of Vi. Vi, like V-Y? No. I'm gonna Wings get of... I'm gonna get Steam open here so I can look these up as we do it. Uh, like VV, but without the second bit of VV's uh, name. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so if you pronounce it wrong, like Vi Vi. Oh yeah, I forgot that people pronounce it that way. It's got a free demo. Uh this Wings. This looks I've terrible. Been... I've forgotten the name already. Oh, Wings of <laughs> I was just trying to look it up. Wings of I. It it, it, it looks, looks like something that it's okay. Yeah, I guess it. it I, I wonder okay. if it's Metroidvania. It's got very positive, but that second image just doesn't do it any justice. That gold and blue. It looks like something out of a <laughs> high res NES game. It does. It does. It looks a little. Yeah. Oh god. I like how the, the characters stand with their boobs thrust out. Yeah. If you see the tags for this game underneath, mm. difficult. Oh, good. Platformer, female, female. protagonist, <laughs> and, and indie. I read um, the developer's name is Grindsoft. <laughs> uh, Brilliant. Uh, oh, but it's 17 bucks. You've made your money back. I've made my money back already on the first game. Listen to this. Well, inspired by masochistic retro platformers, Wings of Vi aims to cut out arbitrary difficulty in favor of skill-based gameplay. So basically, it's unfairly difficult. All right. <laughs> Next. Yeah. My Let's turn. See. What, have you, what have you got for us? Tier one. Redeem. We've got a game. Oh, boy. You know how I said I wanted a game where I could learn something? Yeah. I get to learn... Brain training. Learn Japanese to survive. What? The Which one? This? There's uh, so many of those. There's a, there's a trilogy. There's more kanji. than one? Yeah. Learn to survive kanji. Learn to, to survive kata, uh, katakana. Uh, this is hiragana. Uh, hiragana. What is hiragana? Ah, uh, Japanese characters, hiragana. So apparently this um, is an a full-blown RPG specifically designed to keep you engaged. Well, that's good. I mean, I hate playing games where I'm not engaged. <laughs> By playing along, you're going to be introduced to the Japanese language like never before. I can learn words like fruit and vegetable. <laughs> that actually looks quite good. I might actually redeem this. It actually looks okay. Like, I would be willing to play that. For a short time and see. Are what's you attacking what. hiragana letters? Yeah, he looks like. You <laughs> are. Oh, very positive. Yeah. Tags twelve hundred. Tags education, RPG. Yep. Got it. Well, that's a. I mean, that's a win. I've only I've only recouped f a few of my yeah. dollars, seven dollars. Still, I think by the end right. of this, we will have recouped all of our money. Yeah, and that is what makes this worth it. Tier two, <laughs> I think. <laughs> tier two. Uh, I'm gonna redeem tier two. Let's see. Let's see. Squirbs. <laughs> what? <laughs> it just sounds so ridiculous. Like squids. <laughs> like squids, but but squirbs. Like nerdy squid. S squir squirbs squirbs. S this looks like a uh, Super Meat Boy ripoff. Mixed oh, reviews. Dude. Is Dude, a challenging it looks trash. puzzle. It looks trash. But Tom, but Tom, you can control two characters simultaneously. Great. Twice the amount of shit. <laughs> I hit a pile of shit for each thumb. <laughs> Why punish me more with this garbage? <laughs> like they put zero effort into the character models. You know, when they're designing games and they just put placeholder character models in there like you know what yeah let's get the uh let's get the mechanics down and we'll let the art team do their thing well i don't think they it, had an art eric, team eric there was no art team on this look at the the textures they've used like two textures per screen Ugh. i like how uh steam tells me is this game relevant to you this game doesn't look like other things you've played in the past <laughs> well thank god <laughs> I'd be worried. Oh, it says uh, in the recommended, more like this. Celeste, Cuphead, Hollow Knight. 
boy, they're uh, really <laughs> shooting out of their league there, aren't they? Okay, okay, that was a dud. That was a real dud. Here we go. Yeah. Tier two. Reveal key. Tier two. Ooh, Californium. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I like the name. It's got Calif- a neat look. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dude, that looks cool. Yeah. Taking the form oh, of wacky shenanigans and first-person experience of a bad trip, as in acid trip, Californium pays homage to sci-fi legend P.K. Dick. I am redeeming this. Dude, that is a really neat-looking game. By transporting you into the life of a writer who is searching for his own identity. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's, mostly positive reviews. That is worth a throw. Hell yeah. That's two for two, Tom. That's T for T. Batting a thousand <laughs> yeah. so far. It's just Squirbs that's letting us down. <laughs> Damn you, Squirbs. <laughs> All right, here and we the, go. the jury is still out on Vi. Oh, yeah. May have to it read is. a review or two. Yeah. Watch a gameplay trailer or something. Here we go. Let's try Let's try my luck third time, Lucky. Reveal key. <laughs> oh, God, Eric. Uh-oh. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Stick bold, a dodgeball adventure. Stick bold? But yeah, so stick doesn't have a C, it's just K, and it's all one word. Stick bold, exclamation mark, space, a dodgeball adventure. Oh, okay. I mean, it's got very positive reviews. Uh, Look at, you're, you're standing on top of what looks to be some sort of shoddily built tower playing dodgeball with a whale. <laughs> What the hell is this? Oh no. Oh no. I, don't, I mean, that actually looks kind of good. It could be fun. There's a guy named Bjorn. Whitens White. your grill and strengthens <laughs> your skill. I'm just reading that too. Bjorn and Jerome. Plus one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, you can knock people up. There's a shark that eats people? Oh, maybe Tom. it's not so bad. Tom. Maybe it's not so bad. Actually, yeah. it looks kind of fun. It does look kind of fun. It's action, sports, indie, funny, colorful PvP. <laughs> PvP. Uh, apparently, nothing else is like it. Is this game relevant? Oh, more to you? like this. Pummel Party? Not heard of it. Gang Beast? Not heard of it. Stick Fight the Game? Not heard of it. <gasps> ah, <laughs> Overcooked. There we go. How is this like Rocket League? I don't know, but I would like Gang Beasts. I've played that. That's Have you? fun. Yeah, that's actually really fun. A silly party game. Yeah. Oh, it's made by Double Fine. Yeah, it's really good, dude. It's really fun. You would you've definitely seen it. You just might might not have known that it was called Gang Beasts. Do you have it? I don't, but it's such a fun four player game. Is it only PC? No, it's on PS4 and a uh, bunch of other consoles too. Well, we should look and get net. We should. We should. You get the mean streets of Beef City. <laughs> All right. Uh, my tier three. All right. Tiny Troopers. Oh, I've I've heard of that. <laughs> Is it good? Tiny Troopers. Let's see. Uh, very positive. Puts you in command of a team of small soldiers. War might be hell, but this is the funniest way to fight in one. That's oh, three very positive games dude, in a row. That you looks know, like this a kind good of, game. This looks like uh, Army Men 3D from PS1. Yes. I was about to say the exact same thing. It looks like oh, the Army Tom. Men games. Tom. Oh, I'm winning, son. You are, you are absolutely flooring me on this. I've already made my money back. Easily. And it also reminds me of a game called Cannon Fodder. Don't know if you remember that. No. No. Those are those are really good games. Same kind of deal. Taking some army dudes around an island shooting shit. Done. Like it. Nice. Tier four. Tier four. Come on, Tom. You need something that's not a turd. Let me just rub this here button. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Porcupine. <laughs> I have that. <laughs> or is it porcupine? Porcupine? Yeah, yeah porcupine. Por Q. Nipine, ten dollar game. A yeah, party I got game this in my last one. Slash arena fighter where balding porcupines with only a single quill left fight to death. 
What the hell? Neat concept. Hmm. One 39 review. positive reviews. <laughs> look at the look at the critical reviews, you know, underneath where it says buy and read it. Uh I don't see that. It says buy porcupine underneath. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this game is awesome. PewDiePie. <laughs> I wonder how much they paid him to say that. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. That's I. I still don't feel redeemed here. Just, just quite. No, not quite. Another miss. Swing and a miss. Another miss. Tier four for me is the Little Acre. Sounds promising. Sounds like a farming game. Sounds like it could Lord be. Lord knows little, I love me a farming game. Could be a little little uh, fantasy game. Oh. Very positive. While searching for his father, Aiden travels to a strange new world. Lily, his heroic daughter, sets off after him, fully voiced with hand-drawn animations. Little Acres, lovingly crafted adventure. Developed by Pewter Games. Huh. Actually looks like okay. It's like a $10 game on my end. It's 13 here. Wow. Hell yeah. That's four oh. very positive games. Eric, the Little Acre is developed by... Computer games alongside yeah. producer of Broken Sword and Beneath a Steel Sky. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'll be playing that one. Yeah. That's four games I'm not going to get rid of. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Number five. Come okay. On, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. Oh, no. It starts with a Q. Okay. O. Okay. R, R A. Cora? Yeah. Let's go with that. Cora. It's a $10 game. Mostly yeah. positive. You're getting better. It's done by Curve Digital, the same people that did the one I just got. Oh. Well. Oh. Okay. That actually looks all right. This kind of looks like uh, another world. Yeah. Uh, or what's the other one I was thinking at Risk of Rain? Yeah. That graphic style. With the hmm. uh, character sprite of the Atari 2600 Pitfall. Yes. You are a head with a square torso and two legs and no arms. <laughs> oh, wait, that third picture, he's got his arms kind of, I think they're arms. Huh. Or they could be his, yeah. Well, let's ah! It's okay. It's a. It's a. It's. It's not the, the bullseye I was after, but it's okay. It's got a, ooh, sixty three on Metacritic, Tom. Ah, ooh, that that's got a. Oh boy, oh boy, Little Acres got sixty two. We should have been looking at the Metacritic scores on the sides <laughs> of these. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, it's okay. I'll go with the communities. Yeah. Or Tiny Trooper, 57. We're going lower. <laughs> Professionals, what do they know? We Wait. don't know anything. Well, what did Wh Wings of Vi on Metacritic was not even reviewed? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but your stick bold got some awards. Um, Californium got a bunch of awards. Oh, yeah. From the PK Dick Film Festival. That's awesome. Ludacris gave it an international competition finalist. I don't know what he's doing reviewing games. <laughs> the rapper? I don't know. It says Ludacris finalist. <laughs> Pretty international competition. All right. Well, was that your tier five? It was my five. So let's hear your tier six. No, my tier five. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Lucius or Luscious. <laughs> Lush. Lush. L U C. I U S. Oh boy, this looks like a hot turd. Does it? Oh. Uh, mostly positive twenty two. <laughs> mostly <laughs> positive forty eight hundred. Equipped with supernatural powers, take control of Lucius, or I think it's. I'm gonna go with Luscious as he begins his blood filled tour of horror through his own house. Oh, it looks I mean, it's kind got of a pretty high production value. It looks kind and of by creepy. Shiver Games. Uh, I should give this one cousins. to Dan. <laughs> It's a, oh, it's a 59 on Metacritic, so we're, getting, we're going up a little. And it's another $10 game. According to more like this, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, okay. So they're kind and of like for like. Um, ah, I will say Man this, of Medan. I will say this, Eric. 
popular user-defined tags for this product include horror, adventure, and nudity. Ah. So, mm. something for everyone in there. Well, I hope it's a live body <laughs> that's nude. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, All right. Um, it's ten, yeah, ten bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's or, all right. or <laughs> you could buy the bundle. I could buy the bundle half. that has Lucius <laughs> one and two for half the price of just one. <laughs> I'll just take one, please. Good lord, Good god. Yeah. Mm. Or I could buy the trilogy for all three cent- games for, for forty-two dollars. <laughs> Who prices this shit? <laughs> I don't know. Someone who's never worked in business. Bidness. Get up out my bidness, my bidness. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this got a ludicrous award. Nope. Nope. Tier six. Here we go. Ah, the, oh, the low road. Oh, I think I, I've heard of that. One. I actually did want this, so I'm happy with that. That has made yeah, it. Yeah, that's a Tom game. Yay. Yay. I got one. I got one. Yeah, that's fine. That's a $15 game right there. Well, yeah, yeah. The low road. Oh, we got a bunch of awards. Is the Ludicrous Award in there? <laughs> I want to see this Ludicrous Award. Uh, Neat. I mean, best in play GDC 2016. That's a great. That game looks sweet. Yeah, it's actually it looks all right. There you be. Sweet. Happy with this that. This would be a great game for Dan to watch on YouTube. Yes, and he loves doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, oh, Eric. you get to slice tape? You get to slice like, tape? Uh, yeah, not like not like sticky tape, but, you know, the tapes for oh. recording things. Neat. Now, I need to know, in the, in the title... Mm-hmm. The O from low and road <laughs> yeah. form some sort of racetrack. Handicap eight. Yeah. I it looks weird. I don't know why they've gone with that. I bet that has to style. do with the secret twist at the end. Let uh, me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. It's I'll chuck it on the backlog pile. Tier six. Reveal. Ooh, Alter Army. I like the name Army. <laughs> you had me at Army. There's got to be guns. It's four ninety nine, and it looks <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh, it's a hardcore at, Eric, fast-paced. Look at the developer name. <laughs> Vag Pixels. <laughs> it's made for you. It's made for me. Vag Pixels really nailed that game feel. I'm so obsessed with. Says Destructoid. PC gamer looks very rock and roll. <laughs> what does that mean? You're fighting with a guitar. <laughs> oh, okay. But I thought it was uh well, uh they should have led with their final image of a sentient pumpkin tree screaming in front of <laughs> a layer of rock sediment. <laughs> it should have been that feature image. Oh. Uh. Deary me. Okay, well, okay. that one's not getting redeemed. No, no, it's not. Hey, but I made it five games before a shit. You did. I made it five until one good one came along. <laughs> so you got Hey, the... we balance out. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, uh, let's see what tier seven has to bring. Okay. Boom. Excubitor? E-X-C-U-B. I-T-O-R. Executor. Ooh. Mixed reviews. <laughs> Tower defense. Okay, in- Pass. Uh, Pass. Pass. <laughs> nah. Immediate <laughs> pass when I see tower defense. <laughs> you lost me at tower defense. <laughs> you lost me at defense, let's face it. <laughs> I mean, I like towers. I prefer I don't assault. Want to tower yeah. assault would have been better for me. Take a tower. Put wheels on it, get a bunch of people behind it, start pushing it, and put a lot of guns at the top of it. Tower salt. (laughs) Ah, the community helped pick this title. Well, the community are idiots. (laughs) 
Damn. Well, it's of high value though, so maybe I can swap yeah, it for something. It a Steam green light, which goes to show that mm. they're not all good. <laughs> Eleven whole reviews. Woo! Uh, slow down. Tesseract. Cool it. <laughs> all right, my tier seven. Yep. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get back on the good foot here. Ah! Endless ah. Legend Classic Edition. Oh, my dick! <laughs> ah, fuck's this? Endless Legend. Oh, my God. Is that a $30 game? Uh, hold on. Classic Edition. I don't even see that on here. I see Endless Legend, but not Classic Edition. Is it on Steam? Well, it must be, because it's a Steam key. Yeah. Hang on a second. This is quite a premium game for the mystery bundle. Endless Legend! What is it? It's a 4X turn-based fantasy strategy game <laughs> by the creators of Endless Space. That game is great, by the way. Uh, and Dungeons of the Endless. <laughs> Control every aspect of your civilization as you struggle to save your homeworld, Arugula. Auriga. <laughs> oh, Ruth, there's no U in there. Or L. <laughs> this, this basically looks like a fantasy sci-fi uh, civilization. It, yeah. It, oh, there it, it is right there. Buy Endless Legend Classic Edition. 30 bucks, Tom. Dude, that oh! is... What a steal. Huh? That shouldn't even be in that pack. But I'm glad uh... it is. 10,000 reviews. It published by Most Sega. Oh, dude, I'm redeeming the fuck out of that game. Looks great. It looks, I mean, it looks Civ-like, which it can only be a good thing. I can huh. smell your jealousy from here. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's brutal. Ah, how's that one game you got? The Long Eight Road? Oh, it's brutal. I don't even want it that much. <laughs> I'll trade you. <laughs> I'll trade you Squirbs, Wings of Fire, <laughs> Stick Boat, a Dodgeball Adventure, Porcupine, and exhibitor for your worst game. Uh, that would be none of them. <laughs> how would you feel like to learn Japanese? <laughs> yes, please. Anything. Take all of it. How do you say nah <laughs> in hiragana? How do you say nah? How do you say hard pass? <laughs> Firm no. <laughs> all right. Ooh, that is. I think that's the. That's the oh. uh, money shot right there. Shit. I love turn-based right. strategy. Yeah. Turn-based strategy. Especially on PC. It's a good time. Mm. Nothing wore it down. You should buy it so we could play together. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be such a kick in the face. Um, uh, and then watch no. it turn out to be shit. Like, oh, oh man, this game's <laughs> crap. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Too right. Okay. All right. Tier eight. Tier eight. Let's go for it. Reveal. Oh, my God. This is where they should have put the long road because it had the eight in there. This doesn't sound promising. Stealth. Ink. Two. Oh. A game oh. of clones. I mean, it's a great game. Have you played it? I think I had it on PS Plus. Yeah, the Stealth Ink games are actually phenomenal. Huh. Actually, it looks all right. No, they're they're really cool. My mom played through both of them. Um, they are very fun. Oh, well, that's good to it, hear. It's kind of similar to um, My Neighbor Pedro. Oh, but yeah. But not as, not as fast-paced murdery. Got it. You do like a little bit of stealth. I do. I'm a Mel Germain, so, you know. This is basically not Metal Gear. <laughs> you play so like Snack, this little boy <laughs> with night vision goggles. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get to that Vulcan raisin in the kitchen. Vulcan Raisin? Oh, I forgot about oh, that. Oh, this is done by Curve Digital. That's uh, three Curve Digital games we've gotten. Well, they love chewing out the garbage. Mm. <laughs> no, just joking. Slap our name on it and pay us our royalties. <laughs> okay, here we go. My tier eight. All right. I, I mean, I got sexual with my last reveal key button, so I should do that again. Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> reveal me your keys. Oh. <laughs> Show me the goods. Oh. Oh, that is a nice key. I can't pronounce this. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, try Ta your best. Taimumari? T-A-I-M-U-M. 
A R I. This looks like Wings of Vi. What the hell? T what? I T T A I. Yeah. M U M. Oh. Okay. A R I. Nine dollars. Retro style platform gaming, in keeping with the best traditions of games of our childhood. You know what? That's somebody that just wrote some catchphrase <laughs> boilerplate <laughs> bullshit in a different language, dropped it into Google Translate, and went, ah. <laughs> um, it looks okay. Nah. But not. Wow, that amazing. is a block of text on one of those screens. Woo, <laughs> doggy. <laughs> Oh, you're not reading. I don't know about you, but like I think there was a reason that back then in the 8-bit and 16-bit games, they didn't put a bunch of text because that is not a comfortable font to read. And no. it's all caps. Yeah, it's like NES style, isn't it? The same font. Yeah, I struggle to read things that are all caps. Like I have to really slow down. I don't um, know if that means I've got some sort of brain damage. D- well... I'm okay with it. I actually find myself as I get older writing in caps. Because <laughs> you're shouting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, get off my digital lawn. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, but that's going to be a firm now. Nah. i tell you what, Rick, I'm, I'm worried for the platinum keys. I'm not. So far, I've only gotten two bad I'm fucking, games. fucking worried. Okay, well, I'm going to open the tier nine. Dude. And this is like my worst Christmas, I tell you. Right. <laughs> this is where he just gets socks and underwear. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Which as an adult are great. It's just a link to a glitter bomb that goes to my own address. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to caress the key. Velocity Ultra. Oh. Oh, is it, it's got a uh, soundtrack. Please don't award winning top down shooter. Oh, I hate these games. Well, Why do people love these games so much? Oh, it's like uh, Xevious or Galaga or Gradius and stuff Gradius. like that. I, I, I mean, more power to you if you love these kind of games, but I just don't get the appeal. Yeah. It's not 1989 anymore. Get over it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, you they're... can teleport your corp jet. Actually, you know what? They gave this away on. Uh, uh, PSN for the Vita a Brilliant. long, long, long time ago. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing it. It's actually not terrible. Actually, somebody did put someone I actually recognize, a name I recognize from IGN. She says Ikaruga meets Portal. Yeah. It's very so, difficult. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Well, not the worst. You probably won't have a hard time offloading that one. No. Good point. Good oh, point. tier nine, don't do me like that. <laughs> don't do me like that. Ready? Here we go. All right, baby, come on. Come on. Papa needs a good game. Manual Samuel. <laughs> this what? better be a skateboarding game. <laughs> Manual Samuel. Or about a guy who digs ditches and his name is Sam. Dude, it looks hilarious. It's like Leisure, leather, leisure Suit Larry or something. Another curved digital. Meet Eggs. Samuel. He's handsome, wealthy, and most importantly, <laughs> dead. <laughs> a deal with death gives Samuel one last chance to live again if he can survive a whole day doing everything manually. Oh, one of the tags is dark humor. Yeah, damn it. Oh, look at that fractured jawbone. <laughs> I'm going to play the hell out of this one. That actually looks really fun. Uh... Yeah. Unique hand drawn to the art, hilarious story of love, redemption, and death. Play solo or co op if you want to. What is going on in the shower picture? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's just scalding its skin off. 0% clean. Oh, God. Did you see the last picture with the death with yeah. a shotgun? <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> Kill them. That looks pretty funny. I mean, all right, I'll give that one a shot. Yeah. You're going to redeem it. Yeah. Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I've only gotten two questionable games. And even those were rated as mostly positive. I know. You you have absolutely smashed this one. Mm. You have smashed it. Quite. Here we go. Do it. 
it's time for my 10th and final mystery madness box it's not it's not been great i'm sorry <laughs> well let's see if there's any saving grace oh, for fuck's sake laser disco defenders laser disco defenders is it the collection uh it doesn't say it's so good they don't have any pictures <laughs> what, the fuck? what the hell oh maybe it's roguelike oh, but at hell blah there you go laser disco defenders i think this was i think this was given away on ps plus i think well, I would pass on this f- solely on the fact that it's disco. <laughs> yeah, not great. That there's no reviews either. Ugh. That is disappointing. Ugh. Well, nah. Yeah, that's a pass. All right, here One we game. go. Let's, let's round out the mystery bundle with my tier ten. Go for it. Earthworms. Yay. Is that like worms and like earthbound? Uh, I don't know, but it looks awful. Oh. <laughs> oh god, that looks like a Tom game. You want it? Detective story in a hand painted serious world of science fiction. That's a my. That's a Tom game. I'll give it to you. All right, I'll play it. Long road. Long road. Yeah, I need Long Road, and I'll give you Earthworms. <laughs> Deadliest catch the game. What the hell's that? It's about fishing. The oh, crab fisherman. Okay. Not bad. All right, well, that rounds out the Mystery Madness bundle. Let's do the Platinum. These are Ooh. supposed to be $30 a piece games. Are they not? The, they start around... Well, I saw a couple of examples. One of the exa- Two of the examples were Bioshock Infinite... Ooh. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, Civilization Ooh. 6. Whoa. Those are the example games. Some of yeah, them. Yeah, of course they're going to show those. Yeah. So. Oh, fucking hell. It's probably going to be something like, I don't know, Breath of the Wild or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that'd be a miracle. Can you imagine? We're going to get they... the original Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he wants to go first then. Uh, I can go first since you did the other ones first. Yeah, I think you should. All right, here we Set go. Set the scene for us, Eric. Mm. Lights are dim. <laughs> Candles are on. Yeah. A light shoulder is showing through the corner of the lingerie. Oh. And I rush in and hit reveal key. Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Is it actually? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay. Never heard of it. What's this? Oh, really? Shit, it's only 749 right now. Ooh. Hey, that's a someone else. I mean, I can trade that, that off. Want it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, we well, all know about I mean, Bioshock Infinite, yeah. So Classic. far I've gotten two bad games. Yeah, I mean, Bioshock Infinite, I've never played, but I oh. I have it. Oh. I just need to play it. I was going to wheel and deal with you, son. <laughs> Overwhelmingly positive, so mm. yeah, you, you did good, I've already I've already played it, though. Yeah, I know. 61,000 reviews. <laughs> you reckon anyone's heard of it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, well, let's give this a go then, shall we? Set the scene. I'm in mom's basement. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Johnson's lotion. <laughs> brand new pack of tissues. She's upstairs baking cookies. She shouts my name and I say, Mom, do you mind? I'm revealing shit games down here for money that I, that I earn at the local Target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? It is Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. Isn't that a fighting game? Oh, fuck if I know, Eric. I'm getting furious now. Injustice 2 is like the... Actually, no, that's a $50 game. Oh, Jesus. 
Yeah, it's the uh, DC characters. Oh, so someone will want this. Oh, yeah. Just not me. <laughs> Mostly positive. I don't think you've gotten a very positive or overwhelmingly positive game. I don't think so. But the Legendary Edition, yeah, that's a... Uh... Is that the one you got? I did. It's an $80 game. A, a no, Cana- I see Injustice 2 Legendary Edition is... Oh, yeah, fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, 80 Canadian, yeah. 60 US. That I mean, is imp- as it stands, impressive. that's the most expensive game. It is. And so I paid $25 total and one game is worth triple eight. that. Yeah. So I feel less bad now because I can trade it. All yeah. right. We, we can breathe and we can relax into these Ooh. next two. Tier two. Here we go. I'm going to stare at it longingly. And just prolong this click. Prolong click contact. <laughs> prolong click contact. <laughs> prolong click contact. <laughs> click. Oh, I already have this. What is it? Human Fall Flat. Oh. Have you I've played he- that? No, I've heard it's good though. It's really fun. I've played it on Xbox Game Pass. Uh, it's only $15. I, for a second, I thought it was that game... Uh, you know, the one where you're on a bike and you, the really goofy oh, one. Oh yeah. G- uh, Guts and Glory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's on PC. Oh. That actually, that's kind but of fun. But if it is, you definitely need it. Yeah. I mean, this is a good game. It's great. I like it. So that style, the little chubby little dude that you control, that's yep. like gang beasts. There's four of you uh, like that. Just kind of fighting. It's, it's good fun. Uh, hey, yeah. what? Do you remember a long time ago, there was a game that they showed for Xbox Live Arcade. I think it actually was PC and then it went to Xbox Live Arcade where you are uh, a naked dude with a swinging dick and you have to climb a tower of other naked men with swinging dicks. (laughs) Uh, What, and use their Johnsons to climb? Sort of. Okay, I'm going to be very careful with my Google search here. Naked man tower <laughs> climbing Xbox live game. arcade game. Definitely this not. This is a dangerous button to press right now. It is. Uh, nope. Not a damn thing worth looking at here. <laughs> <laughs> Naked man in a pot climbs mountain with sledgehammer. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. That's a game. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. game. That, that's that's one of the games I was thinking of. It's called of. getting over it. Yeah. <laughs> But the, the other one is of? Naked Man Cokes Down from Atop a 150-Foot Colorado Power Line. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. I'll, I'll think of it. Okay. Eh. I mean, that's kind of a... Eh, whatever. Eh. You should have put that one down in the Mystery Madness bundle. <laughs> yeah, it's a $16 game, so it should have been, really. Um, well, you got lucky with that $30 uh, turn-based yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. all right, it's time for the tier two mystery game. Oh, Platinum. my nipples are hard just thinking about it. Yeah, this is exciting. Here we go. When ski lifts go wrong. Oh my god! I like I've, the name. I've actually heard this game's really good. <laughs> when ski lifts go wrong, it's only a seven dollar forty nine cent. That game. is not platinum, you assholes. How oh. dare you? Oh, yeah, you, that you got you I, got I got fisted there. Yeah, yeah. Rick got, Johnson got wrecked. That is not a triple A game. You can't. That's put, not even a single A game. That's not put, even a game. You can't put Bioshock Infinite in it, with this. Man, like, what's it feel like to go from Injustice 2 <laughs> to ski lifts? Yeah, it's painful, son. Ah, similar game. Two Point Hospital. Is that what you got? No, 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 no. Oh. A similar game to oh, this is okay. Two Point Hospital. Yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, it looks like uh, the tried and tested games like Bridge Constructor. Yeah. Which, they're fine, but there's fucking loads of them now. Um, And I'm not, I don't do physics so good. I didn't do well at science at school. Just give me a bunch of sticks, tape them together, hope it holds. Just put one one strut coming out, and then one strut straight down. Yeah, that's all it's you need. like a T. 
Strongest letter in the alphabet. <laughs> hey. D for Tom. <laughs> All my bridges spell Tom. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tier okay. three. This is it. This is it. Man. This is uh this is for for all the beans. This is what makes it all worth it. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Gas Guzzlers Extreme. <laughs> Gas Guzzlers. What the hell? It's a four dollar <laughs> game. <laughs> oh, but it looks fun. Does it? It looks like rank fast. There's explosions and cars, Eric, and oh. spoilers. And there's a car that says butt 60 on the side of it. Oh, it's normally $24.99. Okay, I feel fine now. It says butt 60? <laughs> yeah. Where? Go through the carousel. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth image along. Mm. Uh, developer Game Game Pires, published by Iceberg Interactive. No idea who these guys are. Um, But it looks like combat racing at its best. With a blood oh yeah, Gas Guzzlers campaign. Extreme is a fast, furious, armed to the teeth, trigger happy shooter shifted into top gear. Well, hey fuck. Tom, yeah, if it's good, it's four and a half dollars. You should buy it. I'll just keep buying packs until I get it. <laughs> that seems like a terrible investment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that you know what this kind of looks like is um, burnout, uh, rock and roll racing. Oh yeah, it does. Like the not the not the Genesis version though. Well, God, I hope not. <laughs> I like this guy. He's driving around. He's got a big white flag. I don't yeah. want to be that guy. I don't surrender. <laughs> Everyone's oh, got man. a spoiler. So look at the look at the image with the Dodge Viper, and then go to the one to the right of it. Uh, it's like this cloudy, misty mountain. Side oh, view of a car with yeah. machine guns sticking out of the back windows. <laughs> I yeah, see. This it. game, this game has Eric written all. Oh, over it. look at the one to the left of that, the blue one. It's got he's got two like mini, like almost like mini guns or cannons yeah. coming out the the passenger window and the driver's side. I think this will be the first one that I redeem. <laughs> Arm to the teeth, trigger happy shooter in top gear. All the right, all the right bells and whistles there. I have some friends who've played it. Huh. 73 on Metacritic. I mean, you could have done a lot worse. You could have got when ski lifts go wrong. <laughs> so, oh, all man. right. Well, to close off this, this stocking filler of shite. Just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> let's see what we got for the final Platinum Mystery game. Civilization 6. No way. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, it came through in the end. What a game. I have this. We've got to play. Civ 6. Oh, buddy. You are oh. in for a treat. That is neat. That is neat. Yeah, there you go. That made up for all of it. That did make up for all of it. <laughs> Even though right now it's only $18, but it's normally 60 bucks. Oh. Exactly. It's only on sale for the weekend. And, uh, I yeah. think you and I both netted well over $150 in games. I think you're right. Because in Justice and Civ are high, uh, everything else on mine is like. You're at, you're at 120 just with those two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like easily. Uh, and then some of those games in the My Madness bundle are around 10 bucks. Yeah. I can probably offload those. And then you have. That thirty dollar sci fi Civ game. Yeah, Bioshock um, was thirty, sci fi Civ thirty, Gas Guzzlers thirty. Everything else is between ten and fifteen. Shit, yeah. That's not bad. Came out good, son. We came out good. I, I think we should try to do this once a month. That would, I was literally gonna say the same thing. Once a month would be fun. Yeah, that'd be a good time. I can I can kick out eighteen bucks for that once a month. Yeah, that's now I just need good. to remember to get rid of the games I don't want. <laughs> yeah, just trade them away. <laughs>